Okay, this is N2Alien with another quick video clip. This is the, uh, we're going to be um, removing, this is the FT-857D, the front panel. We're going to be changing the display. The display has lines in it. We ordered a new panel uh, from Yesu. Uh, this is the part number right here. CS2140401, I think it was $177, February of 2021. Uh, the knobs um, come right off, they pull right off. The uh, uh, One set is dual cocentric, uh, the other knob is a single knob, they pipe right pop right off. The, um, the VFO knob, first you're going to remove the the rubber belt, pull off the rubber belt off of the knob, and then there is an internal set screw for the to remove the knob off of the encoder. Then, when you uh, take off the knob, there's going to be a spring that's literally on here. It's screwed down on the threads and this rubber grommet that comes off first then this this screw right here is actually it's loose right now it's a brass nut that you need to turn hard loosen it off and then literally that comes off then when you take apart the um, the back panel, which I believe are four screws, two, and then there are, I think there are a total of four screws, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Right now I see two, so there might be two screws. One's count is sunk much deeper on the bottom right there. Um, when you take it apart, this knob will unplug. This knob is actually soldered to the the back of the control panel so it has to be desoldered and as you can see right there in the corner that's where that knob fits right in there those are the holes the four holes where you're going to have to resolder that uh, so I'm going to be using a uh, an MBT desolder sucking tool but I'll get in there and I'll show it to you um, and uh, we'll be back. This is N2LEN. This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. We remove the two screws and the pop. We gently remove the, the, the bottom, the back cover off the control pile. And you can see this ribbon cable that's taped. It's going to need to be slipped out from here. And then it's going to have to be dislodged from this piece of tape. And you can see that it's actually folded. And here... Once we unscrew, we got one, two screws, three screws. There might be four screws to hold the panel in. There's one under this um, ribbon cable. You'll then be able to slide the board out. And right here is where you're going to have to desolder this plug from the opposite side in order to remove the front panel. So uh, just make sure you have the right tools to do that. This is N2LEN. We'll this be back. This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. When you remove that ribbon cable, what I did was I just peeled the tape gently off the board, unplugged the VFO cable right from here, and then right here, when you, when you remove that flex cable, you need to take a jeweler's tool, and push out, snap out, and then when you push in, when you push okay, this is N2LEM. We're going to try another quick video clip here. So we removed the cable, and what we did was we actually just unpeel the tape. Um, the VFO plug gets disconnected from its jack, and you can see the four screws: one, two, three, four. When you remove this flex cable that goes to the back plate, 
you want to make sure you get in here with a jeweler's tool and you with the end of the jeweler's tool you snap out the actual snap and connector holder it's very gentle and when you slide in the cable you're going to push this back in it snaps out do not pull the cable flex cable out without releasing this snap in connect uh, flex cable holder okay we'll be back we're going to unscrew the control okay this is another uh and to William, another quick video clip the this we actually removed we popped out we took out the four screws they're matching screws let me show them to you and then you know here they are one two three four there's also a plastic inner grommet that goes on the lower control knob when it slips in that pops out from the front so watch for that uh, this would be a perfect time when you once you desolder the four pins for the control you could actually pull out it, it you know the way that I pushed it out was from literally from the lower knob in the front and the and the actual VFO knob to snap this out and it came out and it actually almost took the push buttons these this these push buttons are all one uh, this particular um, rubber push button assembly from the front actually just sits in there because you, you know it'll be a good time to once you take apart and unsolder this you could take this out and you can clean the controls the top and lower buttons right now what we're going to do is we're going to and then the VFO knob you have to actually um, feed the cable and the plug through the hole to release the VFO knob and then feed it back in with the new control panel so right now what we're going to do is we're going to desolder the four pins to release the control panel from the um, the upper uh, multifunction control knob this is N2LEM we'll be back okay this is N2LEM with another quick video clip I went ahead and we desoldered the um, the four pin connector um, from the old control panel and I will tell you I used a a professional desolder sucker and you know it did it definitely took off quite a bit of the solder but it still wasn't enough you know I had to get in there with some wick and then this uh, a long tip solder uh solder tip against all four connectors and then literally with a needle nose plier grab the connector head and and actually wiggle it out but it came out cleanly as you could see i'll clean it a little bit more but i'm sure that it should uh go right into the new board and when we solder it back in okay this is n 2 we're going to get the new board ready uh we're going to actually take apart this and we're going to clean it clean all the push buttons as you can see it's pretty dirty so we're going to clean this okay. we'll be back this is n 2 with another quick video clip we're going to be cleaning out all the dirt that's on this actual control panel we removed all the push buttons there was a bracket with one screw that actually sits in here uh, be careful when you move the black bracket because as you can see it was glued to the sponge that goes around the edge you got to be careful when you clean this i'm going to use a toothbrush and some soap but you want to be careful you don't get that much water in the inside of the um of the control panel um usually when i clean the panels i clean them with toothbrush and soap under running water i think what i'm going to use is a q-tip and it's just some liquid soap to uh, or some Windex to clean these out I really don't want to submerge this underwater because it does have that control now w with the push buttons as you can see these are actually they're filthy you want to be with this membrane you want to be very careful with it because if you do use a toothbrush and warm water it, it could crack um, especially this this one too uh, so just uh, be careful this actually spins around this way and it wraps around the radio you just want to see how dirty it is uh, that I will definitely clean uh, gently with a soft toothbrush and some water one screw holds this bracket in and that screw hole is right there in the top 
right corner, the right upper, the upper right, you see that screw hole. That's for it. And then it all, that, that, this one membrane wraps around, the four goes in, then, then it wraps around here. You got the, the button here, the small little button in the center, which is right in the middle right there. You just want to make sure that you feed it correctly. And then, and then next would be to re-solder back in the control panel and uh, reassemble. You just want to take your time. And at the same time, make sure you clean the back of the display, the front of the display, the actual lens itself. Be careful that you don't scratch it or get any haze on it. And be careful you got that, uh, that goop from the, uh, the dried up um, sponge around there. This uh, we'll is two len with another quick... This is a final video clip with the uh, FT, Yesu FT-857D. Uh, we replaced the uh, LCD display with a new control panel. It was $177 from Yesu. Uh, I could tell you that... Um, Re, you know, installing the control panel back in is a little bit more difficult than pulling it out. Uh, also, in this dis behind the bezel where the LCD panel sits is a foam gasket that goes, it's very thin and it goes around the edge. And on this particular control panel, that gasket, that foam was all dried up and it was goopy and glue. And it, and when I was fitting the control panel in, it got all around the glass. Um, so uh, if your foam is good, you don't have to worry about anything. But when you put the panel back in and you install the control panel, you drop it back into the bezel, you have to make sure that it sits flat. And this corner, when it was going in, this, the bottom corner, and you have the panel sideways, was actually sticking up a little bit, and it wasn't uh, aligning with the back cover holes. The screw holes that hold, the two screw holes that hold the, the control panel to the bezel lined up, but I had to pull it out and reset it several times, and you have to be very careful when you do it. Uh, but you'll know when you uh, when it's sitting flush because the control panel PC board sits right on top of those screw hole sockets. We're going to power it up. This is the first power up. And, uh, oh yeah. No, that looks beautiful. And, and you can go in and uh, adjust. I know that I have the contrast turned up, so it makes it nice and bright, but you could go right in. And I'll let you see the different, the colors. Let me see if I can get in here and do this. It's, it actually looks a lot better than it does on the, let me see if I could come out with this a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's go down to one of the blue ones. That one's nice. Come here, you can really see it. There you go. And that's basically it. So it is working beautifully. This is N2LEN saying best 7.3 on the control panel replacement for the 857 LCD display.